Chronic stressors such as coronary artery disease, high blood pressure, or valve disease initially injure heart muscle. Damaged cardiomyocytes lose efficient contraction and some die, reducing pumping strength. As contractility falls, stroke volume and cardiac output drop. The body mounts compensations, sympathetic activation, and the renin-angiotensin-aldosterone system, which raise heart rate, blood pressure, and fluid retention to preserve perfusion. These changes increase preload and afterload, leading the heart to remodel by dilating and thickening its walls. Fibrosis sets in. Backward pressure produces pulmonary congestion or systemic venous congestion, causing breathlessness and swelling. Chronic low output deprives organs of blood, worsening kidney, liver, and brain function. When compensations are exhausted, patients enter decompensated heart failure with refractory congestion, arrhythmias, and high risk of organ failure.